Now, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Until the date for this, our main event of the evening. The Russian is 31, the Canadian is 36. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting at a left bridge of Berta, Canada, presenting the challenger, Big Train. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. for the championship. You can give me instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the fence? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase the mission. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. 
Ooh, and he caught the kick. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Big call for punch man. Now we get back to range. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Punch over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Magomedov gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Single collar tie now. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Powerful leg kick land. Nice knee to the body there by Nurmagomedov. Huge shot, to the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at him drive his chin into the whole body with that body kick. Blocks that kick to the body. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Just missed with the left there. The right hook to the body. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate to beat the that up. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. We're under two minutes now to go round one. And he landed the right hand there. Seconds now to go in the round. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, missed on that one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, Lance flushed with the elbow. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Checks the leg kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down and all. Offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the first level going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Plus right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Second round here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And 
think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Beautiful punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nermago Meta gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes on top. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Good punch land. Straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Right on the button. Give me those hard kicks. Hard kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Keep your hands up. Use your Unable to land with that punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. That one stuck in. Nice strike. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, a huge block there. That's a big strike right there. Lead kick is true there by Nermago Meta. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Final seconds here of round number two. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, God. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying 
to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Visibly limping here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Outstanding meeting the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Ooh, what a punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice head kick. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike he's very effectively. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. He gets to his spot with tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, big punch land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. How about that chin? Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by the Bogometa. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Going orthodox now. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And they separate. Just out of range with the big right hand. Effective strike there by Nermago Medoff. Just missing on that uppercut offering. And there comes the separation now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Body kick now by Nermago Meadow. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Let's get that takedown, score some points. Try to establish that jab. <laughs> nice punch, man. He's, he's limping now. Whips on the right hand. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. Back and forth we go! Big head kick lands. Lands with the right hand. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big, Big knee lands there. Swing and a miss with that punch by Nermago Meta. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Much 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Fifteen seconds. Good stick. Trying to kick the leg out. Big leg kick land. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the office. Slips to avoid the right. Attempts the front kick there. Checks that leg kick. Outstanding kick there by Nurmagomedov. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, strong punch there by Nermago Meta. Nice uppercut by the champion. Can't take many of those, you better check. With a right. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice move and punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Nice body. Way to hide that leg kick. Look at that leg. I need you to pay attention. Protect yourself. Look for your shots. Nice punch there. All right, let's go. Let's get going. Back to the body shots now. That one blocked. Nice job by Nermago Medov mixing it up here on the feet, DC. I know you can speak to this as well as anyone. His striking has really started to catch up with the rest. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. this length as effectively as he is here tonight. We might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Real quick leg kick. Oh, that kick is good by Nermago Medov. Got clip with the right hand. You gotta check 
these low leg kicks. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Beautiful head kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. What a punch. 20 seconds left. Good is that jab by Nurmagomedov. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. And there's the buzzer in the kid in the end of round four. Next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Trying to get the knees going. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Beautiful strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, single collar tie now. And they set it. Back to the feet now. Big and kick. Nice high kick. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let's go. Keep your hands up. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to feed up to the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Goes to the body there. Come on now. Let's move. Let's move. Stay focused. Big head kick lands. All right, late in the fight now. He needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. He's hurt. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. All 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. While he continues to find the openings tonight, beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes when you get an opportunity. Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO. about this, we have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, the guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's gonna be very difficult.